Hello everyone, my name is Jaleesa, the JJ Moo T so Shash Game Views, everybody, and I want to give you basically uh, my opinion on why Dawn of Justice, the new Batman vs. Superman movie, will suck. This is my top five reasons why the movie will suck, and what I mean by suck, again, everybody, I have a playlist on my YouTube page that, well, the film set will suck, and when I mean suck, these are the maybes. These are basically my list of concerns about this film and how it could lead this film into a travesty and why it will not be a good film. These are just my, this is just my opinion about the stuff that could go wrong. I'm not saying it will suck like officially like a critic, like I'm a big Marvel fanboy. I am a fan, more of a fan of Marvel than DC, but I'm going to give the films a chance. I always give each film a chance. That's some of my favorite films. Most of my DC, most of Marvel and DC films, you know I love Marvel more? DC beats nearly all my Marvel films. It nearly does. It's only like, it doesn't beat one film. That's it. Basically, a lot of Superman, uh, the Superman 2 I love. Dark Knight Trilogy, I mean, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, they be a lot of my superhero films, so please don't judge me on that. But, let's start off with the top five reasons, basically, Dawn of Justice will suck. I was going to say Batman Dawn of Justice, no. But, um, it's Dawn of Justice, what, top five reasons why. And my fifth reason is Jeremy Irons is Alfred. Here's the name, Jeremy Irons. I love him as an actor. He's a great actor. Is he an Alfred? He could be if his voice wasn't so commanding. To me, Alfred is I mean, Jeremy Irons is just such a powerful actor in his voice and everything. It's different with him to be Alfred. To me, Michael Caine was a perfect uh, Alfred just because he wasn't, uh, he wasn't like always behind on the sidelines, but he wasn't always in front. He had a good middle ground. Um, the ones in the old Batman movies right behind me, they had that Alfred. To me, he was too much in the background. He wasn't a big middle in there. He wasn't there mentoring Bruce Wayne that much. And to me, Jeremy Irons will be so he will outshine Bruce Wayne. I think Jeremy Irons will outshine Bat uh, Ben Affleck's Batman in some cases. I'm like, Jeremy Irons is like, are you the old Batman? Because that's how Jeremy Irons is. His voice is a freaking, uh, his voice is recognized for doing the movie Lion King of Scar, the ultimate Disney villain. What the fuck? Jeremy Irons as Alfred is a problem for this movie just because he's such a great actor and he has such a great commanding voice that it might take away a little bit from Ben Affleck if you compare the two side by side from each other. But you never know. Ben Affleck's good, but this is just a minimal concern for this movie of why it will suck because of that or why points will go down. Because Jeremy Irons is such a fantastic actor. I love Jeremy Irons, but my God, the guy needs to tone it down a lot because he is fantastic. My fourth reason, and this is pretty obvious, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I mean, seriously, of all the casting choices, Jesse Eisenberg. Here's the thing. I'm not going to judge him until i seen the actual film, but here's the thing. He has to either... I've seen a lot of versions of Lex Luthor. My favorite is Michael Rosamond from the Smallville series. If you've not seen Smallville, Lex Luthor, or played by Michael Rosamond, he is a perfect Lex Luthor. Now, Gene Hackman was a good Lex Luthor. Kevin Spacey just really took a lot of Gene Hackman, and maybe Jesse Eisenberg could make the character into his own. Hopefully he could do that. But compared to most of his work that I've seen of his, including the social network, I do not see a Lex Luthor. If anything, when I saw him in the trailer, I thought he looked like a freaking Riddler villain. I could see him more as a Riddler than a freaking Lex Luthor, for sure, but this is going to be very interesting to see. I can't wait for Dawn Justice, but please, Jesse Eisenberg, be a good Lex Luthor. Be a great Lex Luthor. Don't be a crappy Lex Luthor like I think you are. That's a that's a, a reason why Don Joseph will probably suck because of Jesse Eisenberg. Please don't. For number three reason, th this film, Donna Justice, is introducing the entire DC comic lineup. I mean, the DC Cinematic Universe. This starts off after, after this is the Justice League movies. You're not building upon characters. This movie's supposed to build upon... Wonder Woman, Flash, Aquaman, um, Batman, and Superman. They're supposed to create this thing where they actually meet and they get in conflict and all that stuff. But I am seriously fucking worried about this dang film just because if this film is not good, how's the Justice League movies going to do? Are they going to suck terribly? This movie has a lot riding on it. Just like how the Avengers... Well, the Avengers was a different set. Marvel took it one step at a time. Different characters introduced different characters. And then eventually they come together in Avengers. With DC, they're not introducing all the characters together. 
uh, for Batman Dawn, Dawn of Justice, this has to set up a lot. And I think the crunch of it, like Avengers Age of Ultron, might just bring it down the hill a little bit more. I mean, this film has a lot riding on it, and I hope it does a great job. But if it doesn't, I wouldn't be surprised because this movie has a lot of weight on its shoulders. My number second reason for why um this movie will fail is because Batman will beat Superman. And to me, I believe it will suck because Batman will be Superman. And I'm not talking about the cartoon versions. I'm not talking about that one where Batman actually beats Superman in actual suit. But I'm just saying, Batman beats Superman for real. He's Batman. He's human. No, come on. If you've seen the Man of Steel fight scenes, Man of Steel, say what you want about the film, it has one of my favorite superhero fight scenes of all time. Superman vs. Zod, that was a fight to the death. That was a fight with no punches pulled. They continued hitting each other. It was going to go down one way or the other. They didn't pull no punches. And you're telling me Batman's going to be in a great suit. He's going to he's gonna be a protect. And I've seen some of the fight scenes. You know where the one where Batman's jumping on uh, Superman. And you can literally see how slow he's moving to get. It's like this. Whoa, then boom. Hit his foot. You know how fast fucking Superman moved into fucking Man of Steel? He was able to block that shit. And people could say a lot of shit about Man of Steel, but the Kryptonian fight scenes, Batman didn't, I mean, Superman didn't have time to react, to move away and all that stuff. They were on him constantly, 24-7. He had a fight constantly throughout that film. And you're telling me the Man of Steel is going to get whooped by a guy dressed up as a bat? No, come on. Maybe he has help. Batman will probably have help, or maybe... Jesse Eisenberg, Lex Luthor will help him out. But either way, to have Batman beat Superman is just unrealistic and stupid, in my opinion. And people can say, oh, it's a comic book movie. Well, here's the thing. I love comic book movies. And some comic book movies are realistic. Winter Soldier had a realistic tone. The Dark Knight, realistic tone. So you're telling me that Man of Steel will get whooped by Batman. And we all know what's going to happen. It's, it's a popularity contest. It's not about who is actually stronger, who's actually smarter. It's Batman. Batman's going to win because he's more popular. That's why this movie will suck a bit because we already know it's coming. Unless they do it in a great way and logically, then I'll understand it and respect it. But if not, for the sake of doing it, it'll be fucking stupid. It'll probably be stupid. But hopefully not. And the number one reason why this movie will fail because it's a pointless ending. There's no reason for them to fight. They're not going to kill each other in this. We already know the ending. They're not going to kill each other. They're going to work together. They're going to shake hands at the end. And they're going to go with Wonder Woman to do the Justice League movie. We already know the ending to this film. They're not going to kill each other. This ain't a fight to the death. This is going to be a minor conflict. of like saying, you know what? You're actually a good guy. You know what? You are too. Shake hands. And that's it. They were right off into the sunset with Wonder Woman. And that kind of sounds weird. But still, that's what you're going to do. We already know the ending of this movie. The ending of this movie is pointless just to see a fight scene. That's basically it. Why did people want to see the new Godzilla movie? Godzilla! Fight monsters. That's all you needed. You just need 30 minutes of Godzilla movie. You didn't need the rest. Same thing with Dawn of Justice. You just need a fight scene and that's it. Unless you're going to do... But Dawn of Justice has a thing where he's going to have to sell all new characters into this entire movie. And it's going to have a whole bunch of weight on it. And they have to have a good fight scene. They have to have a lot of things right. But these are my top five reasons why why Dawn of Justice, Man of Steel, Batman Dawn of Justice, whatever you want to call it, will suck. This is my top five reasons why it will suck. And when I mean I suck, these are just my concerns, again. But please, please, dear God, let it work. I want this movie to do good. I want this movie to start up the new DC Cinematic Universe. I cannot wait for this film. I love Batman. I love Superman. Batman is my second favorite superhero of all time. Superman is my fourth. But if you're telling me between a fight out of the two... Is Superman, come on. But yeah, everyone, that's my top five reasons, again, why Donald Justice will suck. Alright, everyone, named Lee, signing off, everyone. You have a good day, everybody. Uh, bye bye.